This looks cute. Bye. Hey guys, it's Maya. So today's video, I filmed a three in one get ready with me. You know, we did makeup, we did my hair, we did my outfit. You know, it's a simple outfit because I'm a simple girl. All right. If you stick with me long enough, my my fashion sense is gonna rise to the top. Okay, but for now, simple. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get into it. Um, so I'm gonna start out with my eyebrows. I'm just gonna fill them in. I'm going on like a little patio date with my one of my old friends. So, yeah, that's why we're getting ready. I can't be wearing too much makeup, like, this is not gonna be a full Betas. So I was using my, <sighs> I have the name in the description box, guys, I'm so sorry. I keep using the same eyebrow pencil because it's the only eyebrow pencil that I have, and that is the most I can do for you, unfortunately. I'm gonna clean that up with my e.l.f. concealer. And I'm just gonna bring this onto my lid just a little bit. I'm gonna use my matte, my e.l.f. luminous matte primer. Y'all know if, if you watch my videos, you know this is the primer that I, that I just use, okay? This is it. Do you see this? Holy. I think it's like every single, oh, okay, here another one for me too. I don't know, every single summer I, I always like get like, white spots i think this is the whitest spot that i've ever gotten i'm gonna be taking my maybelline urban dream cover foundation i love this foundation because it's like super lightweight it has spf 50 and yeah like it doesn't really feel like anything like if i wanted to rub this in with my hands i could but i don't want to <laughs> so, I'm not so i'm not going to just gonna use a brush for that. And I'm gonna blend it all out. Yeah, like this foundation is so nice. It's so like natural. And it like covers pretty well too. Boom, no, so you didn't even look at your clothes? No. I wanna look at them. Hmm? I wanna look at them. No. Can I? No. I'm gonna do a haul so you can watch my video. On I don't that. wanna watch your stupid video. I don't know what to tell you. So then I guess you'll never see my clothes. Do I not guess, do guess, not touch my I mail. Guess I'll be opening I them. am calling I'm calling Trudeau. Call Trudeau. I'm calling Trudeau, that's what I'm doing. This is against the law. Put my stuff down. No, I'm gonna look. Put my put my misguided package down, please. Maya, I wanna see them. This is against the law. Okay, I need to poo. Enjoy. Just thought I'd announce that. Thank you. Is it gonna be on your recording? Yeah. It needs to be. I'm gonna put it up on YouTube. I need free to. I'm going to. Because I want everybody to know that I happily release the owls. Noted. It's exciting now. You know what, Maya? I'm out of here. You're gonna miss me when I'm upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender as well. Just so that there's no like crazy streaks taking my e.l.f. concealer and then a highlight under my eyes, my chin, a little on my forehead and I'm gonna put this back here because I see my skin is not the smoothest right now so I'm gonna put it in there too Ooh, and there. I'm gonna blend it out with my Sonia Kashuk sponge as well this time I'm using the pointed side to do it. I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And you know what, this powder is the best when it comes to, what's it called? When it comes to like sweat and mattifying your face, stuff like that, you know, it's, 
It's a very good mattifying powder. Just blending out any creasing I might have. I'm gonna put it directly underneath my eye first and then spread it out from there. I'm gonna set my lid as well. I'm literally like just blending that whole thing in. Okay, I'm gonna take the butt side of this sponge and I'm gonna go like this just so that everything is like packed in I'm doing that to my smile lines I'm gonna take this brush and this is the brush that I use for my face powder I'm just gonna spread everything out go over my eyebrow a little bit because I find that my eyebrow can get well not get but it stays shiny and since the way that I set my face when I use my powder it kind of like spread like dispersed the translucent setting powder so like the rest of my face is actually pretty much set so I'm just gonna go in with some bronzer now and for the first bronzer I'm going to use, it's going to be my LA Girl Pro Face Powder. I'm just going to put that in all the places that you would add bronzer slash contour, you know. I'm gonna take Caramel Cutie from Fenty Beauty and I'm just gonna bronze my face again. My face, I don't know what happened to the color. I feel like the color changed. I'm gonna set my eyebrows because I forgot to do that. My makeup looks so flawless on camera, but it does not look this good in person. What a shame. Um, now what? I don't want to do anything crazy for my eyes. Like I said, like this was supposed to be an everyday makeup tutorial type deal, but like. I'm putting in a little bit too much effort for this to be just an everyday. So I'm gonna take this, it's my Ray Ray um, palette by BH Cosmetics. It looks very ugly right now. So hopefully I can find the picture of the actual palette online and I'll, I'll put it here and then I'll, I don't know, maybe star the ones that I'm using. So I think I'm just gonna use a mixture of pancake and mouse on a fluffy BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. I don't want this to be too, nothing too crazy. Like these are the only two shades that I'm using. Well, the only two shades for my crease, I mean. <laughs> then I'm just going to take nudist. I'm gonna put that on my lid. Cool. That's it. I'm gonna add a little bit of nudist to my brow bone just to kind of try and blend this out a little bit more, but not too much. These are my like I feel like this is like my summer blush is when I mix these two. This is the NYX Double Dare and the Milani Coralina. And 
what I like to do is I like to take Double Dare and it's so pigmented. It is so pigmented, it scares me. Um, and I'm just gonna apply that to the apples on my cheeks. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my nose as well. I'm gonna take Corlea and I'm going to, I'm very heavy handed with this cause I don't know, I just feel like it never, I just feel like it never shows up on my skin. So I'm just gonna put that over top of Double Dare. I'm gonna go in with Crown of My Canopy by Wet n Wild. The smallest amount, like literally that much. Like I haven't really been into eye, I mean, highlight like lately, like I said. And plus, um, the Milani blush has a lot of sparkle in it already too. Do I want to do eyelashes? I don't think I'm going to put on eyelashes, if I'm being completely honest. I don't. I'm going to take... This is Deeply Intoxicated by Essence. Lip liner. This is Sweet Tea by Morphe. And now I'm going to put on some mascara. And like I said, I'm not putting on any eyelashes, hopefully. Since it's so hot, I'm gonna put my hair up. So that you can see my hair. So what we're looking like. Um, I think I'm gonna put it up in a bun. I think that's what we're gonna do. Like, I think that would look super cute. Like a nice tight top knot bun. This. I'm gonna wet my hair. My hair is wet. I'm gonna take some of the My Moisture Curl Quench. actually looking at my hair now if I really wanted to wear it out I definitely could um but it's just too hot I wish I could though I'm gonna take that line gel and I'm gonna take a shit ton of it I'm just going to tie this around a few times. These are the type of hair ties that I like to use. They're like endless and they're very stretchy. And the only bad thing about these hair ties are is that they lose, they can lose their stretch pretty quickly, like how tiny they are. And like soon you'll probably end up with something that's probably about this wide instead of this wide. So that's the only bad thing I don't like about it. But I get these at the beauty supply store. They're only, I'd say two, three bucks. So that's nice. Kind of wanted this to be more on top of my head. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted more of like a top knot. Not this being in the exact same place as it was before. Oh no, it's a little higher. Just a little bit. This looks cute. Bye. So I just got a edge scarf. 
I know this is what the girls be using for like their wigs and stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not a wig girl yet, but soon enough I will be. But I'm so like I've been wanting one of these. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on my edges. Cute. I am gonna go look for something to wear and I just scratch myself and I'll come back to you. All right, okay, so yeah. I'm wearing this like royal blue dress. Unfortunately, you can't see the full thing. Let me try and zoom out a little more for you guys. I'm standing on something. Um, but yes, this is what it looks like. It's from H&M. I got it a while ago. Sorry, this is the worst angle. It kind of like, <laughs> it goes up to like a little bit past my knees. So it's kind of like a midi dress. Um, but yeah, this is what we're wearing. And then <laughs> I just got Air Force One, so I'm gonna wear these with it. You know, like, I think that's like cute, you know? It's a, it's a patio. I feel like maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should do more, maybe I should do more dressy. Girl, I'm wearing my Air Force Ones, period. Let me come back here. This is the finished hair and makeup. I think it looks super cute. Um, what did I want to do? I want to add more, a little bit. Something, something to my edges you see how nicely that edge scarf laid my like anyway period it looks so good but yeah this is the finished makeup and everything like that and hair and outfit i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video